YouTube. Welcome back to 26 Acres Outdoors. Today, Izzy and I, I got a little different, something different for you. We're gonna do a little mud bugging. Basically, we waited till the water got low. Um, as you can see, it's real, the water level is usually up there. So we come out around uh, late August. Late August, mid August, well, it's mid August now. Just, uh, there's been too much rain, so everything's been too high. And what we're going to do is go mud bugging. Catch us some crayfish and make us some crayfish etouffee yes. tonight. That is like the best thing to make with crawfish. It is. So let's show what we're working with. A, when you walk through the, here, you're going to wear old sneakers or Crocs. We got our Crocs on. I don't have any old sneakers. And then we're just going to grab a bucket. Show them. So you need a bucket. We have two people, or him and I, that are going. So you probably should each grab a bucket. And each person will need two nets. And now these nets, we got, um, I got them at Walmart. We originally started with like little butterfly nets from uh, the dollar store. They held up for a while, but the, the, the actual netting, the rim around it, which is a little too flexible. So we found out these work better. So we upped our game last year with these. And uh, so we're gonna take you on, show you how we do it. Have some fun, it's way too hot. We were gonna go striper fishing or porgy fishing, but we didn't feel like baking it, in the sun. It's just it's, too hot. Right? It's way too hot in Connecticut, it's humid. And the other thing is, of all my friends I've told do this, I don't, I think I'm the only one in Connecticut. We are the only people in Connecticut that go mud bugging. So let's have some fun, let's get some mud right, bugs. Yeah. So you don't wanna be in the fast moving current because then you can't see them and when you lift a rock, so you're basically just going to lift a rock, um, or you're going to walk through. Like, I was just walking over here. If you go and do, like, little pools, I saw him when he was half out from under the rock. But I don't know. We're going to move that rock and see if he's there. I'm going to show you how we scoop him up. Basically, basically, you're going to take, you're going to move the rock. He's going to be sitting there. They don't really take, they don't really take off um, much. They kind of just sit there and hang out. And you're just going to come down on one side. The other side, and you're just gonna kind of catch them like that and turn them up, and you got a mud bucket. So let's see, let's see if we can uh, get one for you right off the bat. We've literally been here a minute, and as we walk down, it gets calmer and there's more pools, and they'll just be hanging out everywhere. We need a half a five-gallon bucket to make one batch of crawfish shape effect. Let's get to it. All right, here's our first attempt. There's two crawdads sitting right there. Um, Izzy's going to put the underwater camera on, and I'm going to try to scoop them. You won't be able to see them from here, but you're going to get the idea. All right, stick that down in there. Oh, there's three of them, actually. All right, I was getting ready to leave and move. And there was one sitting right behind me. I see another one. This place is so infested with them, I don't even know how they all spot. Just try to get this one. I scared another one. All right, this one right under that rock. A giant spider. Is that on? There he is, I got him. Alright, he was a little difficult. You get the bucket? Not yet. He was a little diff he was a little difficult because he was in between the rocks. I had to kind of poke him at the other end. So, we got one. Too rocky right here. We got to go further down where it's a little muddier. But they are straight up everywhere. Oh, there he is. He's coming out. I got him. Got another one. That's how we do it. And if I stood here and waited, they'd be more pooping out from the rocks. Just kind of wait for him to poop out the rocks, kind of move it a little bit. But it's just way too hard when it's all rocked up like this. All right. He's going for this one. I took two steps. There's another one. Right out in the open. See him? 
Right there? Yeah, I see them, I see them. Okay, scoop them up. I can't get over there. One in the back, one in the front. You got him. You got him? Yep. Ooh. That's another one. All right, let's get to where the good spots are. Just slowly pulled that rock off and missed it. And she missed him and he's still there. He didn't really move. No, it's a... Ah, he's gone. No, he's right there. He's still, still there. right there. Yeah. Poking with the back of the net. As long as that net's on the ground. He's going in himself. All right, scoot him in there. Scoop him. Got him. Let me see. <laughs> There's another one. And what, how'd you tell everybody how you got, got that one? I poked him with the back of the net. Sometimes that does work. I'm going to be honest, he crawled in the net. All right. Well, what did we have to do before that? We just moved a flat rock. If you don't see him kind of half hanging out, just move a flat rock. And it's more than likely, if it looks like something that something would be crawling in, probably what he is. All right, we're walking to the hot spot, and there's one just trucking right towards Izzy. Get him? Yep. Oh, quick move. That's another. I was just setting up, trying to set up the tripod, and look at that one that Izzy got. Wow, that's a good one. Look at him. Woo, all right. Nice catch. He's going right in. No. Come on. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Might be another one under there. This one is a monster. I'm going to stay right here. I told you that rock was a hot spot. Now he's on this little tiny flat rock. And he's getting mad. He's coming out to check out the net. Got him. Ho, 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 buddies. Look at that guy. What? He's a big one. He was, I saw his blue claws hanging out of the, from under the rock. He was under the little tiny rock. Oh, he's climbing. Ooh. I don't want him out. I'm gonna go put him back. Put him in the bucket. Get him. Got him. All right. Another one. Another one. Look, ooh, he's a nice one. Ooh, big one. Out over here. Just so you know. If you oh, there's another big one over there, too. Got him. There's another big one here, is. I said I got another big one over here. I just have a big one in my net. Switch nets. That's a good one. And he has his buddy right here under this leaf. I got him. Another one. I'm sure if I stood here long enough, I'd see another one. Double whammy. Walking back, saw another one. Had to scoop him.
Get any? Yeah, it's got a monster. Oh. Big one right here. Got him. <laughs> he was right here, like two inches of water. Ooh, he is a good one. Ever. Why didn't you catch him? Because I was walking. In. Here's one. Don't move. And you butt shot it that way. Got him. It's a good one. It's not the one I was after. Come up. Where is he at? He's right under here, so I need to put my net. All right, that one's crawling out. Here. Take that. I'll swap off. Wait, where did he go? I don't know. Oh, it's right there. Okay. This one crawled out. No, I he's, said. He's right there. Oh, he's right there. Where is he at? Right in between my nets. Oh, I see him. I see him. You want me to try to poke him from over here? There's another one sitting right here, too. Or you want me to move that rock? Oh, Have your retin in case you shoot that way. There's one right here. Oh, he's a big one. Let me poke him out. You keep... Oh, jeez. Here, let me poke him out. He's going to go right in your net. Or he's going to shoot backwards. There he is. Oh, no, you moved, oh, you moved your net. Yeah, well, because he... You moved it. He's right here. Got him. Oh wait, did I have one in here? Yeah. Not anymore. Izzy's got it down. You just kind of shuffle along, you stir everything up, let everything settle, and then they'll be and move some rocks. If you miss them, don't be don't be discouraged. Because they're just they're gonna start looking for new spots and that's when you can catch them too. So a lot of fun. Take some time, but it's a good uh, hot weather activity. They're everywhere. Oh, that's a nice one, Crow Daddy. Nice catch. Thank you. Oh, it's a little one. So we just walked across to try to set up, and as we're coming in here to try to set cameras up and everything else, these things are just everywhere. Everywhere. And I'll tell you that, it's awfully tough to try to catch these things with cameras everywhere. Okay. I gotta put my bucket down. I don't wanna blow away. I have a little one. Yeah, I saw that one too. I was standing here talking, I looked down, and one went scooting. Izzy's going to try to get him. Where? He's right under that rock. See him? Right there? Mm. Right under oh, the camera. I see. I see him. I caught a rock. You can't get them all. They're slippery little, little guys. And they are quick. I don't see him. He's... So Izzy and I just worked this tiny, small little section right here, right through here. See, it's all, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's all muddy. We basically just kept overturning rocks, let the mud clear, and then everywhere you looked, and then just everywhere you looked was just full of crayfish. So crawdads, mud bugs, whatever. So in the short amount of time, we are in this little spot. And if my eyes are wandering, it's because I'm waiting to see more pop out. But uh, we did, we had quite a good little little haul in this one little spot. Um, and you know, we got, sorry. Go ahead. We got the biggest one, he got the biggest one that I saw. I've yeah. ever seen. He's right there. I'm not going to stick my fingers in there, but. But these are, these are not the ones that you get from down south. But they're just as tasty in our opinion. And like I said, I think we're the only ones in Connecticut doing this. You may ask why I don't use traps. We do use traps. We do try them, but most of the time when we go, the water's low like this, and not enough of them crawl into the traps to make it worthwhile. The thing may sit there all day and I get 10. When we can go out and scoop a half a five gallon bucket and have some crayfish etouffee. So uh, we're gonna keep on working our way down. We got a long way to go. And see, they like that, that water, it's nice and calm. 
and they like hanging out in the shade under these trees and then some of these roots good hiding spots for them but it's just it's a lot of fun and we enjoy it and uh i hope you guys are enjoying this so far but we're gonna do we're gonna keep working our way down and speaking of roots that root section how like, there's a little bit of water under that section of roots i had a pretty long battle with one trying to get him to come out <laughs> didn't get him no all right let's go let's move here right here izzy and i pulled out about a dozen already and uh, there's one right there it's a little but another trick is if you stick one net down in front and you put the other one in they'll get a little aggressive and they'll either back into that net or come into that net if it's a tight quarter spot to shoot or you just kind of poke them at them with the back of the stick um, like I said we've been stirring this area up and now we're just every time it clears up you look down and there's another one so we're gonna have some good eating tonight you know Oh, you had him. You should just poked him. Okay, Izzy and I are done mud bugging. We had a we got a pretty good pretty good catch. Got quite a few in there, some good ones. So uh, we're gonna go back. Whew, go back home, clean them up, cook a little crayfish day today. We're gonna make a video on that, how we do it um, when we get home. So I hope you guys in. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed uh, mud bugging with us on uh, 26 Acres Outdoors, how we, how I do it, and we do it in Connecticut, and nobody really much does it, um, but we had a lot of fun, hope you guys did too. Uh, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like this video, and comment down below if you have any questions. Catch you next time. got back to the shop, the mud bugging. I'm tired too, but wait till you see who's really tired. I sneak up on her. Mud bugging's hard work. Oh, you woke up! <laughs>